Hello, brothers and sisters in Christ. Today is Tuesday, January 28th, and it's 1.48 p.m. Now, last night in my email, um, a young man in Christ is, um, I'm going to say relatively new believer, but I have seen definite growth in him. But still, I consider a babe in Christ, uh, wanted me to read over these two words from the Lord tell me if they really were from the Lord tell him if they were really from the Lord he thought they were real and he admitted that he didn't have any discernment um, <clears throat> which I told him don't feel bad about that because look, look how old I am and I didn't have I didn't have a lick, a lick of discernment, obviously, or I wouldn't have made all the mistakes I made. Despite the fact that I was filled with the Spirit, I never asked for the gift of discernment or wisdom until I started going to an Assemblies of God church. Well, anyway, um, after I married my third husband, I kind of got slapped upside the face with... Uh, someone I didn't think I deserved and um, it made me realize uh, well why was I asking for a third husband anyway sorry I'm playing with my fan I'm trying to stay cool without being cold I'm in that in-between thing okay so anyway I'm gonna do a two-parter on this I'm gonna read the first uh, this is just uh, you know and I've been praying about it and I said Lord if I'm wrong about this, I want you to not let it go up. And if I am right, then don't let there be any problems with it going up. It's just blasphemy in my opinion. And it's meant to completely confuse, confound, further divide. So if any of you all are believing any of this or hearing any of this, this might help you. I think that probably most of you will see right through it. That is my prayer. Anyway, it's called a prophetic word by my spirit through my bride. Okay? It starts out, and it's, they're pretty long. That's why I'm going to make a two-parter. A prophetic word unto you. Let me speak to you about what you have done unto yourself unawares. Now, pay attention to the grammar. I understand typos. But to me, there's too many. If they're typos, there's just too many. This is, some, this is something somebody made up or had a really stupid demon giving it to them. Let me just put it bluntly. All right, you have done unto yourself unawares. He's talking to us and didn't say yourselves. Okay, just note little things like that. We didn't, okay. Okay, I, I, this is where I interjected with a blue paragraph, so I have to skip that. For you have chosen to label yourselves the title of Christians through the title of, quote, Christianity that has nothing at all to do with me. For I have called you my, quote, disciples, in all caps, unquote, and not Christians, saith Yehoshua, who is the Christ meaning the anointed one unto you who are of the Gentile nations slash nationalities. Now, I've never ever received a message or seen one or heard one where Jesus said nations slash nationalities. He would have said either nations or he would have said nationalities. That's my opinion. What do you think? Moving on. That's minor, but still. 
our Lord is super intelligent, okay, and can do it the way he wants, but I've just never seen that grammatical error. I call it an error if it's a message. All right, so you, let me back up, you who are of the Gentile nations slash nationalities of the world called mankind, which is in all caps and in quotes, and unto the Jews that answer, I'm going to put emphasis on the all bold, all cap, it's capped and bolded. Ancestors did not receive me when I came unto them. I am Yehoshua HaMashiach, and you are all my disciples. Okay, then up here I had put, let me speak to you about, okay, and then it goes into f about being called Christian. And I put, um, what you have done unto yourselves unawares. Okay, we didn't call ourselves Christians, as this person goes on to say. That word was used since the first century. How could we have done it to ourselves? This is me speaking now. Another thing, those who call Yehoshua HaMashiach, Yehoshua, with an O instead of a U, are usually of the Hebrew Roots movement, though not always. Is that not right? Okay, which has problems of its own. All right, let me move on. Skip into the next paragraph. For they only began to call my disciples by the title of Christians was in, in listen, for they only began to call my disciples by the title of Christians was in Antioch, which was by a pagan man. Again, bad grammar, not of the Lord. This guy was pagan. And not by me, saith Yehoshua, have you not read, fulfilling the Father's scriptures. It's not Father's, apostrophe S. He calls it Father's scriptures. Acts 11.26 Now I'm only doing this because parts of this you may you may say, oh, that is a bunch of nonsense. I'm not even going to finish listening. But some of this you may have heard of and you may agree with and you may want to reconsider. Okay, so I'm just throwing that out there. Some people that are new in the faith that read, read this, like this young man, need to know this. Okay? Something you might be able to share with somebody that you know is talking like this. Okay? All right, so Father Scriptures, and Father is in all caps. Acts 11.26 And it came to pass that a whole year they assembled themselves with the church and taught much people. And taught much people. And the disciples, this is in all caps and bold, and the disciples were first called Christians, First in Antioch. First being used twice. All right. I, I put, I would like to know why he says a pagan first called us this. Because the Bible doesn't say that. Just because they were called that in Antioch, they were Christian, being made Christians in the church in Antioch. They'd been assembling themselves with the church. And taught much people. And it's possible. That they were called Christians by a pagan. But we didn't do that to ourselves. It means Christ followers. Well let me move on. Because he says that. And I, I see why. Somebody even of their own accord. Would say there's a problem with that. Look how many people are called Christians. That aren't really Christians. And they're not. There are several denominations. Catholic being one of them, that call themselves Christians because they are, they believe in Christ as their Savior, but they've never gone to the altar or made that confession of commitment 
They don't believe in being born again. You must be born again. I'm not saying all. I'm saying the majority of the pew sitters. Okay, I'll move on. John 13, verses 33 through 35. Little children, yet a little while I am with you. Ye shall seek me. And as I said unto the Jews, Whither I go, ye cannot come. So now I say to you, A new commandment I give unto you, That ye love one another, As I have loved you, That ye also love one another. By this shall all men know, That you are my disciples, And that party put in all caps and bolds, If ye have love, one to another. So that is a direct quote from the Bible. And I put, yes, we should all be disciples. This is meant to be convincing and also confusing, but to a new believer like you, you wouldn't recognize it. I'm glad you sent this. See, when they throw scriptures in there, then you tend to think, oh, this is of God. But the devil knows the Bible better than we do. And certainly he can teach it to his demons or have them read it. Whatever. All right. Then it goes on to say, this person wrote, I would never teach you to call yourselves by the title of Christians, which simply means, quote, Christ followers, unquote, because I knew you would not know what Christ you were following, saith Yehoshua. See, there's some truth to this. And I wrote to, to this person, Now see, that makes sense. Jesus put no label on our religion. Others called it the way first. Okay, so then with, let me back up to what this person wrote. You what you would not know what Christ you were following, saith Yehoshua, fulfilling the Father's scriptures. Again, Father in all caps, no apostrophe S, Father's scriptures. And, and then I typed, I am wondering why they keep saying Father's scriptures. Is that a typo? Should it be Father's scriptures? But he keeps repeating it the same way. So I don't think it's a typo. All right. We know that the Bible was inspired, God inspired by the Holy Spirit. So why is this person calling him, calling them Father Scriptures? Moving on. Matthew 24, 1-4. And Yehoshua answered and said unto them, Take heed that no man deceive you. For many shall come in my name, saying, I am Christ, and shall deceive many. Ain't that the truth? And ye shall hear of wars and rumors of wars. See that ye be not troubled. For all these things must come to pass, but the end is not yet. For nation shall rise against nation, and kingdom against kingdom, and there shall be famines and pestilences and earthquakes in divers places. And then he puts all bold caps. All these are the, quote, beginning, unquote, of sorrows. And another quote mark. Probably meant beginning of sorrows, in quotes. Or she, I don't know. I don't know who the person is that has this, this title. For when you say the word Christians, all bold letters, you are simply saying Christ followers. But the question is, what Christ are you following? For they are many. They, they are many Christ. And the one, I'm reading this exactly as it's put down. For they are many Christ. And the one you have chosen is not me, saith Yehoshua. 
who is the Christ, meaning the anointed one, unto the Gentile nations slash nationalities. I highlighted that and made it black, question mark, question mark. Why is he referring, saying with a slash? Again, I question that. Just semantics, I guess, but it's just never been used before. And a message from the Lord. All right. The nationalities of the world called mankind, who are you? And unto the Jews, I am, comma, Messiah, comma. But who I am not, Jesus, slash, Yeshua. Nor am I, Yahshua, Y-A-H-S-H-U-A. And I highlighted that and put it black, question mark, question mark. In whom they have replaced my saving name with. As if only Yehoshua can be used. I type this in. As if only Yehoshua can be used. See what I mean? I was typing that to this person who sent it. Oh, this is... Anyway, I'm going to try to hang in there. They have replaced my saving name with Yehoshua through, no. I wonder if I deleted a word. See, some of these, there, there's words that seem to be deleted anyway. Which, so, whoever typed this up, I just did a bunch of typos. I get that. Um, I'm going to back up to I am Messiah, but who I am not Jesus slash Yeshua, nor am I Yahshua, in whom they have replaced my saving name with, throughout my father's holy scribes slash scriptures. When I left your world age, I put what? <laughs> Jesus left the earth in the beginning. This is me writing. Jesus left the earth in the beginning of the church age, the age of grace. This is not from God. Wait, there's more. <laughs> All right, so. <coughs> Excuse me. A little coffee needed. Ugh. Okay. So, when I left your world age, which was also when your, quote, free will test had begun, have you not read, saith Yehoshua, fulfilling the Father's scriptures, Yahshua slash Joshua um, verses 24 I'm sorry, chapter 24 verses 13 to 15 I guess that's Joshua chapter 24 verses 13 to 15 and I have given you a land for which ye did not labor, and cities which ye built not, and ye dwell in them, of the vineyards and olive yards which ye planted not do ye eat. Which ye planted not do ye eat. Now therefore fear the Lord, and serve him in sincerity and in truth, and put away the gods which your fathers served on the other side of the flood and in Egypt, and serve ye the Lord. And if it seem evil unto you to serve the Lord, and if it seem evil unto you to serve the Lord, choose you this day whom you will serve, whether the gods which your fathers served that were on the other side of the flood, or the gods of the Amorites, in whose land ye dwell, 
But as for me and my house, we will serve the Lord. That part is very familiar to me. I've seen that on plaques a lot. For this religion and its practices, listen to this. What we do are just as satanic as devil worshiping. For this is, quote, the mark within your forehead, unquote. Okay, here's the worst lie. This is me talking. This person slash demon is trying to make us think that worshiping Jesus is the wrong information in our head, which is the mark of the beast. Are you kidding me? You know this. The mark of the beast is a literal chip that will be injected into your hand or your forehead. And then in parentheses I put, which may be more of a tattoo for up here. There's not much to inject into up there. I've read enough. You can discount this and do not worry about it. I'm glad you shared it with me. Always do so when you are in doubt of something someone is sending you. See? You are making progress, and Satan is now trying to take you down another path. Stay in your word, and stay in prayer every day. See, there's others teaching this, that the mark of the beast is the thoughts in your head and what you do with your hands. Now, how does that prevent you from buying or selling? It doesn't. They're... they're even just this one little part is enough to know this is wrong. The mark of the beast will be injectable through a syringe. Don't anybody forget it. All right. Now I'm going to, let me see how much this goes on and on and on and on and on. I mean, I'm telling you, I don't think I... But I do want to get into at least part of the next one. This is so... I mean, is this not enough said to know that a prophetic word by my spirit through my bride. Now, I don't know if that's the name of a channel, a title, a person, excuse me, chose to give this. Because that's what the subject line is. A prophetic word by my spirit through my bride. I'm ending this one here. If anybody wants me to forward the whole thing to them, leave your email in the comments, in your comment, and I will be glad to forward the whole thing to you. Okay? Alright, this one here has my marks in it. Part 2 is going to be just me reading as much as I can tolerate because it's on a different subject. Okay? With that, I'm going to end this one by saying I plead the blood of Jesus Christ of Nazareth over this pack of lies. And I say, don't anybody believe this person. I mean, there's truth thrown in. That, that's how Satan does, though, to deceive us. He'll throw in scriptures and some words of knowledge or some things we know are true. And then those weaves in his little lies, you know, so we won't believe the mark of the beast is literal chip. Stuff like that. So I plead the blood of Jesus over this video and the internet connection and over each and every one of you and all of our devices and your internet connections. And with that, I'll say bye for now. I'll talk to you later. That was 24 minutes just to do that little part. And there's a lot more. Wow. Bye.